In this problem, we will be finding the net gravitational force on M3 from objects M1 and M2. In this picture, we can see that M3 has a mass of 4 kilograms, M1 has a mass of 6 kilograms, M2 has a mass of 4 kilograms. The separation between the centers of M3 and M1 is 0.04 meters, and between M1 and M2 is 0.02 meters. The first thing we will do to get the net gravitational force on M3 is to find out how hard just M1 pulls on M3. Using Newton's law of universal gravitation applied to these two masses, Fg equals Gm3, M1 divided by R squared. Plugging in, we see that we have G, the universal gravitational constant, is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. M3 is 4, M1 is 6, and R is 0.04, which is squared. The result of that math is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons in the positive x direction. It's in the positive x direction because M3 is being pulled in the picture to the right by M1. In unit vector notation, this is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons in the i direction. Next, we will find the gravitational force on M3 from M2. Applying Newton's law of universal gravitation to these two masses, Fg equals g m3 m2 divided by r squared. We can plug in g, the universal gravitational constant, which is always 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. m3 and m2 are both 4 kilograms. r requires a little bit of work on our part, since it's the hypotenuse of the arrangement of these three masses. So doing that math, we can see that r is 0.045 meters. But since we want r squared, you can back up here to the 0.002 and plug that in for r squared in our equation. This gives us a force magnitude of 5.34 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. However, force is a vector, so it requires a direction. The direction of the force is the same as the direction of the distances in the triangle. Since the force acts between the centers of the two objects as an attractive force, so doing a little math on the distance triangle, we see the angle theta in this triangle is found to be 26.6 degrees. So our force is at 26.6 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. In unit vector notation, that would turn into 4.77 times 10 to the negative seventh i plus 2.39 times 10 to the negative seventh j newtons. Finally, we will find the net gravitational force on M3 from M1 and M2 by adding our previous two answers, which are circled in blue. This is easiest to do when the forces are in unit vector notation. So this answer here, 1 times 10 to the negative 6 i newtons, was our first answer, which is how hard M3 is being pulled on by M1. This information here, the 4.77 plus times 10 to the negative 7 i plus 2.39 times 10 to the negative 7 j is how hard M3 is being pulled on by M2. Adding those two together, we get an answer of 1.477 times 10 to the negative 6 i plus 2.39 times 10 to the negative 7 j newtons. In unit vector that's in unit vector notation. Doing a little bit of rearranging in math, we can turn that into magnitude angle notation and our answer would be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons at 9.2 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis.